Hi and welcome once again. In this tutorial, we will be adding a created by formula and a created on formula. Before we get started, please note that there are a few things that you need to do to your application before we can continue in this tutorial. First, we need to make sure that we have implemented application security. If you have not already done so, please visit the Iron Speed training video library and watch one of the videos under Application Security. These videos will walk you through the Application Security Wizard. Second, since I am using the Southwind database, we will need to add a few columns to our table that we will be working in order to hold the new information. Our goal in this video is to add two fields to our Add Customer page. One field will hold the value of who created the record, and the other field will store the date and time. So let's get started. First, let's take a look at our Southwind database and check to see if we have the fields we need for our new data. To save time, I have added the two fields that we need. Now let's go back to IronSpeed. We will be working on the Add Customer ASTX page. As you can see, we do not have a created by or a created on field value to represent our new fields. Let's click on the toolbox, go to Labels, and find the created by and created on labels and drag them onto our page. Now that we have our labels, we need to add our fill. So let's do that now. Now that we have our fields in place, let's click on one. Notice that we now have a formulas tab. In our case, we want to capture the logged in user when this record is created. Before, we would have to use code customization wizard or we would have to write some custom code. Now here's the beauty of formulas. In order for me to capture the logged in user, now all I have to do is type username function formula. Remember, we also wanted to capture the date time of the created record. All I have to do is type in the today function formula. In this example, I would normally hide these values from the user. But in this case, I am showing the field values so that you can see that I captured the data that I needed. If you were interested later in hiding the fields, we could simply click on the Properties tab and scroll down to Visible, Equal, True, or False. Now let's run our application. Now that we've implemented security, I need to log in. So I'm logging in as test. That's my username. I'm going to add a record. As you can see, we have captured the logged in user and also the date and time. I hope this video was helpful. Please check out 
all our online videos at ironspeed.com. Thanks for watching.